Hello and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. I'm your host David and Arkin. Today we are taking a look, uh, another look, a, a relook, uh, a relaunch of one of my favorite all-time mods, one of my all-time favorite mods, whatever. It is the Burnside Convertible from Burned, and this is always sent from from the day it came out. Uh, this has always been one of my favorite mods. I just I love the convertible. Um, and not only is it convertible, but you'll notice it is a coupe. So we have a two-door convertible Burnside. Phenomenal. I absolutely love this <coughs> this car. I just I just I love the design. I love the feel. You talk about you know going old school uh, and and definitely evoking uh, images and memories, uh, especially of various movies. Uh, you know, for me, it evokes uh, memories of the original um, uh, Karate Kid. Wax on, wax off. The convertible car, uh, just awesome stuff. And I'm not driving well because I don't drive well when I'm not looking at what I'm doing. <laughs> Whoop, whoop, whoop. Taking a little sharp there around the corner, but oh, love, love the Burnside convertible. Love the uh, white wall tires. Ah, this is just, if, if I was going to own a, a classic car other than a classic Corvette, it would be something that would remind me of this right here. Ah, that is just very, very cool. I know uh, at one point there was kind of a conversation um, that talked about uh, miniature versions or, or like real life versions of um, uh, Beam NG vehicles that you could either 3D print or if they would make die cast models of. And to me, if I could have a die cast model of the Burnside convertible, dude, oh my gosh, how awesome would that be? Oh, so cool. Let's lay this puppy down as we cruise through the countryside. Pretty sure I'm going to lose it up in here and we'll go bailing out. But, oh, look at there. Nice. Oh, that's not, not that wasn't too bad. Whoa, except I kind of lost control there. But, you know, hey, we're doing okay. You know, if you try to take a corner at 55 miles an hour and it's, you know, a 90 degree turn. Yeah, your car is not going to be happy with you. So, you know, this game, likewise, is not going to be happy with you. It's not an arcade game. You're not going to throw on the e-brake at 55 miles an hour and grab a 90-degree turn. It's just not going to happen. So, anyway, just one of those things I was thinking about. In fact, here's a, here's a good example of that right here. See? It's just not going to happen. You're not going to do it. <laughs> so, um, just uh, to uh, show you, there are other examples uh, of the Burnside special available. Uh, once again, um, we, we were in the Supermatic convertible. There is a Supermatic uh, hardtop um, coupe. So I'm going to go ahead and let's check that out. What an interesting color that is. Ah, oh, nice. I just, oh, I just, I love the coupe version of the car. That is so cool. Ah, that is great stuff. Once again, thank you so much to Burned for, uh, updating the mod to make sure that it works with the current version of the game which at the time of this recording the current version is uh, 0.11 with a couple of hot fixes that have been applied <clears throat> excuse me so very cool stuff i like it i like it a lot oh look at there cruising down oops hitting the wrong key cruising down the road and really we are whoops we are actually cruising at this point. Oh, right into the tree. <laughs> ah, I love it. Okay. And then <clears throat> we also have in the uh, Burnside special, uh, there is also a convertible police car with the uh, siren up on a stick. So there you go. <laughs> this, this is one of my all-time favorite adaptations of... Um, uh, of of the, the the siren. Oh, I don't know why it's. Huh. Interesting. It's actually not the siren isn't working. Okay. Well, there you go. We'll just make a note of that. Burned. If you happen to be watching this video, the uh, the siren, uh, the the light, 
is not actually spinning around, nor does the um, sound work with the mod. So just uh, thought I'd throw that out there, but I don't care how you cut it. That is just so cool. <laughs> what, a, what a great way to implement uh, the, uh, the light for the police car. We're going to stick this up on a pedestal and... Wahoo! Oh, look at there. That was not a bad little... Not a bad little turn. Took it a hair faster than I probably should have, but that's all right. That's part of what we do. And I can't remember, does the, uh, will the light come off? I need to just, what I need to do is roll the car as opposed to just crashing it. Oh, there you go. Yep, it falls off. <laughs> Whoa, there it goes. Uh, bouncing all over the place and ending up in the road. We are on fire. Oh, so cool. So cool. I absolutely love this mod. I don't understand why, um, and maybe somebody can explain this. My cars are all like in some weird order. I have no idea what is up with this. You know, there used to be an alphabetical order. Not anymore. Anyone? Anyone? I have no idea what happened there. Um, here is a hard top coupe here. So we have the Supermatic coupe over here. And then here is a hard top version uh, of the coupe as well. We'll just pop that in. To me, it, it's a lot like the Supermatic, so uh, I don't really see that much of a difference other than the trim showing you that it is a hard top that, um, at least in theory, can be removed. I don't know if I can actually go into the vehicle config. And can you actually remove the hard top roof? Um... I don't think that's a separate thing you can do. I mean, I could I could change the, the body style, but I was thinking, could I just pull the roof off? And I don't, I don't think so. But um, I do think it's funny. Where did I see that? Somewhere I just saw, oh yeah, the beacon light. Is that like a thing? I can do that? How about a red beacon light? Yes, yes you can. Oh, dude, we've suddenly made this an undercover police car. Although it's not so undercover if it has a red beacon light on it, right? But oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Oh, that's funny. So we need a skin for the um, hardtop coupe that uh, is like a pizza delivery thing or something and then add the beacon to it. I don't know why. I just think that would be hilarious. But oh my gosh, that's funny. How cool. Putting the beacon to the burn side. There we go. Ah. Going for a cruise in the old burn side hardtop coupe and convertible. And once again, the convertible is... Oh! Oh! Well, that's a bit of a problem. <clears throat> Bip. Uh, the convertible is actually my all-time favorite vehicle mod. I love the Supermatic, and of course, the default being yellow. I, I absolutely love that as well, but I'm just going to check out a... Let's check out the Royal Blue. That's beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. There you go. That is the Burnside Convertible and Coo uh, uh, Hardtop, both in Coupe versions. I'll have a link to the updated mod in the description down below. Awesome stuff. What do you think? What do you like? What do you think we should do with the Burnside Convertible here on Beam NG Drive? Let me know. Leave your comments, questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories, all that stuff down in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Beam NG Drive. Wahoo! Oh, well, that's not quite what I had in mind. I'm on fire! Help me, help me!